Germany is coming around to backing the idea of joint EU debt issuance to help caution the blow of the energy crisis. This is as long as money is dispersed as loans, not grants, and that's according to a Bloomberg News scoop. Now, while details have not been ironed out yet, the topic will likely come up in the discussions as EU leaders meet in Brussels next week. Now, for more, we're joined by Maria Tadeo in Brussels. So, Maria, exactly, what exactly is being debated? And good morning. Yeah. Uh, good morning to you too, Francine. And and you uh, made out uh, what is a critical difference here. I think you explained it very well. This is about the loans, it's not the grants. So in other words, it's not a rerun of the recovery fund. This won't be a recovery fund 2.0. That was 750 billion euros back in 2020. Remember, the amount was split. Some was grants, the other uh, was loans. The idea here, however, is that you could see European institutions tap markets at a triple A rate and then get the funding and distribute that to member states that are now crystal clear they will need additional help to deal with the winter crisis. The core issue, and this is fundamentally the thinking behind this, is that if you tap the market as EU27, you'll get a better funding rate than you would if you're, let's say, a periphery country going out to the markets by yourself. So that's where the debate is at. But I should note, however, this is something that would have to be presumably agreed by the EU27 unanimously. And it's clear that we're not there yet. We just uh, played an interview with the Dutch finance minister which she said it very openly, she does not see the need for new tools to deal with this crisis. So, Maria, a change, of course, of heart in Germany is very important, but not definitive. So will there be enough consensus? Uh, yeah, and, and it's not definitive. And again, I should also note that the German government has not made this uh, position uh, official. This is a story that broke yesterday uh, on the Bloomberg, citing a number of sources. But officially, Olaf Scholz has not uh, said this on the record. But the choreography now, uh, Francine, from now until next week will be that today uh, energy ministers will meet. At one point, the commission will come up with a plan of action that may or may not include this. That will be a key point. And then it's up to European leaders next week on October 20th and 20th. 21st to really figure out what type of response uh, they're going to put up with the, the, this energy crisis and what type of what well, consensus they can build around some of the measures that are being floated pretty much every day, I should say, in Brussels. This is a very active debate here.